I was struck by a survey that the state did in 2008. A lot of you are aware of these numbers, but they're they're stunning and they're I think they're compelling in this, in, in, from this, the standpoint of what we have to do on health care as it relates to uh, uh, individuals in Pennsylvania and across the country that we haven't had a strategy for. We know from the Children's Health Insurance Program, and I'm glad that Bill George uh, uh, brought that up earlier, we know from uh, the history of that program how effective it's been here in Pennsylvania for more than 15 years now and across the country. Here, here's where we are with Children's Health Insurance. We have, we have a, uh, uh, in terms of nationwide coverage, seven million kids covered by the CHIP program today. Within the next, basically within the next three years, that number should double to more than 14 million. I think it's like 14.1 million children. A, st a stunning uh, achievement in terms of, of enlarging a group of Americans uh, who have health insurance. So for kids starting in the 90s, starting in the early 90s here in Pennsylvania, uh, with a Democratic governor, with the same last name as mine, and a Democratic House and Senate. Remember that window where he had a House and Senate were Democratic for about 13 months, or 13 to 16 months? That was the first piece of legislation they did when the state Senate became Democratic, Children's Health Insurance. It got through over uh, very aggressive Republican opposition in Harrisburg. They don't admit it now. They tried everything they could to stop the Children's Health Insurance bill from becoming law in Pennsylvania. They lost, we won. Okay. Then President Clinton uh, adopted and, and, and then made a national program out of ours and a few other states' children, children health children's health insurance program. So now we can say that because mostly some Republican help uh, in Washington, some Republican senators worked in a bipartisan way to, to uh, enact it and then to, uh, to uh, enlarge it, right? President Bush, if you recall, vetoed twice uh, the expansion of children's health insurance. President Obama this spring signed it into law. So that's a, that's just a, not just a democratic achievement, it's an achievement that, that affects the lives of millions of children, their families, their communities, and I, I would argue economic growth for the next 100 or 200 years, okay? If a child has health insurance at a young age, all of the great benefits of CHIP, they're gonna be a much better educated person, a much stronger worker, and therefore we have a stronger economy. That's the good news. So wh what does that mean for Pennsylvania? What it means is, according to this 2008 survey by the State Insurance Department, we had an uninsured rate among children of 5% in 2008. Now that's a survey, so it's not an exact number. But what does that mean? Well, it means that we still have uh, uh, tens of thousands of kids uninsured. But that 5% is a lot lower than it was, okay? So we need to continue to insure uh, and enroll those children. But what is it for the other age groups? And that's why this survey was significant. So we had a strategy for kids, and with Medicare, we've had a strategy over 45 years for older citizens, right? But what happens to people between the ages of 19 and 64? A big slice of our population. Well, it, it, as it turns out, that uninsured rate in Pennsylvania is 12%. So the uninsured rate for people between the ages of 19 and 64 is more than double the uninsured rate for kids. So what it shows is when you don't have a strategy for a group of Americans, they don't get insurance. Uh, what, one, of the, one of the reasons why I believe it was so important to get a health care bill done this year and then get it implemented over the next couple of years is because of that statistic. So what does that work out to? Well, it means that in Pennsylvania, 12% of the population in that age bracket being uninsured is over 877,000 uh, Pennsylvanians. And you could probably go to every other state and see the same thing. Because we did have a strategy for adults before they reached the age of 65, uh, a huge number uh, are uninsured.